think all of us that worked on it in the initial years recognized that there was something pretty special here. This is a site where you've got danger and blood and guts and, and trauma and excitement and in, in a matter of moments there's this flurry of activity and people shouting and animals running. And... The vital link that we were able to look at when it head smashed is the archaeology. Because the archaeology gives us the physical link to that past. It's tough when there's no shade at all. It's the oldest continuously used buffalo town. In terms of ingenuity, I like our story a whole lot better. Because in Egypt, they piled them up to celebrate one guy who was dead. <laughs> and here, they laid up out in lines to keep themselves alive by killing buffalo. So in many ways, I think we have a grander story. We're past that point of awareness. We've got to get to a level, the next level. We've got to start uh, mobilizing that traditional knowledge to our youth. Is people, I mean, in all innocence, will say to you, well, you know, Alberta has so little history. You, you live in a place with so little history. And I want to go, tell that to the guys who were here 12,000 years ago. They didn't think they had, a, they had no history. I, I mean, the place is loaded with it. And as a finale now, I'm going to throw myself off the cliff. We've got great campsites and places where, you know, important parts of the prehistoric story of Alberta went on, but, but they don't have the drama. This place does.